Man, this is the epitome of ice style right here. This is the goddamn tundra right here. This is this is Antarctica, the ice age, iceberg, slim, Richard Kuklinski, the ice man coming. God damn, he got ice cube on. He got ice cubes whole career around it. He got. <laughs> Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Monday, February 28th, the last day of the month. In today's video, I have one play for you, one play only, and one to put on stock. But before I go into the plays, let me delve into Friday's recap of the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up a whopping 2.51% on Friday. They closed at 34,058. The NASDAQ, they spiked up 1.64%. The NASDAQ closed at 13,694. The S&P 500, they closed up a whopping 2.24% at 4,384. Apple, Apple closed up 1.30% at $164.85. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is a SP play, in and out, grab and go, one and move. MULN, MULN is up 59% at 110. The higher day thus far, 113. This, they came out with news this morning, okay? Go ahead and read up the news on your own time, your own term. This one is in the EV battery space, okay? I bought some shares on Friday at 67 cents and add some more at 72 cents. And I also add some more in the pre-market at about a dollar or so, okay? Let's continue. They were a market cap of, first of all, let me back up to the volume on Friday. This is what caught my attention. The volume on Friday was a whopping 105 million shares exchange hands, compare and contrast to their average volume of 6 million. <laughs> MULN has spikeability, for example, on October 22nd through November 4th. October 22nd through November 4th, the stock went from $6.95 all the way to $14.95, $6.95 to $14.95, okay? Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 24 million, they have 19 million in the float. 36% of the float are insiders. 4% of the float are held by institution and shorts as 5% of the float. Their ROE is a positive 532%. They have a total of $360 in cash. Let me repeat that. They have a total of $360 in cash. Most of my subscribers has more than that, much more than that. They have a whopping debt of 21 million, 21 million. Their current ratio is way below par. Their current ratio is sitting at 0.49 MULN. Be careful with this one. Please put in stock today for continuation. IMPP, no surprises here. This one is the gift that keeps giving. The stock is up 15% in the pre-markets at 242. After closing up 33% on Friday, they closed at 210. This one keeps going up. Catch a ride on this one, IMPP. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at the petite. I alerted IMPP at about 75 cents, okay? In the meantime, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. That's all I have. I'll see you on the next one. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You'll get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is $100. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only, the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk of us.
This one plans to be taken private. T-E-N. This one is in the auto parts space. T-E-N. Sitting at number three, we have C-Y-R-N. C-Y-R-N is up 129% on the week. Currently sitting at 593. This one regained compliance with the NASDAQ, okay? See why. These are state Yeah, I believe that's the house. Yes, and I speak stocks. Today is Tuesday, September the 29th. Yeah, dear, yeah. Today my Walmart is streaming. Uh, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. 50 cents in the morning. OCGN closed up a whopping 174% at 80 cents. This is why I have this channel. Supernova moves like these. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if this kind of content is for you. Let's delve in. OCGN opened at 47 cents. The stock spiked as high as 83 cents and as low as 40 cents. The low of the day, 40 cents. The volume on the day, a whopping, an eye popping, 734 million. Let that sink in. Compare and contrast that to their average volume of 19 million okay watch for continuation today a matter of fact the stock is up about 70 70 percent in the pre put this one on your stock list for continuation it might be overextended at this juncture be careful here i sold 55 percent of my holdings okay ocgn the stock to watch another stock i want you to watch is jagex j a g x matter of fact that's dave's play today j a g x is up 70 percent in the pre at 67 cents on no news Matter of fact, they came out with news regarding their split. There's no reverse split. And on that, stock is up 70% at 67 cents, okay? This one has spikeability. Go ahead and do your research. Do your due diligence. Please trade at your own risk. On or about December the 1st, the stock went from 20 cents to approximately 72 cents.